Hey guys, the Pommy Exit here. Welcome back to another video. I've already uploaded a La Liga Santander January upgrades video today, and I'm uploading this as well. And I'm probably gonna upload another one after this. Maybe it depends how I'm going. But first player is Cavani, and if you haven't saw my other video, go check it out. But first player is Cavani. He's had a one overall upgrade with a one pace boost, a one dribbling boost, a one shooting boost. A one passing boost so that's all the boost he's had but it's still a pretty good card him or Lacazette's definitely the best striker in the league but Lacazette's probably the best for FIFA next player is Glick he's went from an 83 to an 84 his pace has gone up one his defending has gone up one and his passing has gone up two and his physical hasn't gone up so not a big upgrade, but definitely one of the best centre backs in the league, like Cavani, the best striker in the league. So, yeah. Obviously, there's Thiago Silva and stuff like that. Now, another Monaco player, Subasic. He's gone to an 84 rated keeper. He's had a one reflexes boost, one handling boost, and two positioning boosts. So, pretty good boosts for him. So definitely, again, one of the best keepers in that league. Next player is Bernardo Silva. His card reminds me like Payet, but he's definitely been one of the best players in the league this season. Who knows if he will be next season too. But he's gone to an 82 and he's had free dribbling boost, free shooting boost, one passing boost and a one physical boost. The next player is Falcao, Radamel Falcao. He did so bad in the Premier League, and ever since he's been back at Monaco, he has been doing great. He's had a one upgrade. I did predict him to have an upgrade, and he's had a one dribbling boost, one shooting boost, and a two physical boost. So, again, pretty good stats. Next player is Dante, the Brazilian centre back. He's had a 1 upgrade to an 81 rated, and he hasn't had any form this week. He's had hmm, what's he, 1 defending boost, 2 passing boost, and a 1 physical boost. A very, very small upgrade. It's pretty pointless, in fact. Next is Balotelli. He's gone to a 2 upgrade to 81 rated. He's had a 1 dribbling boost, a 1 shooting boost, and he's had one passing boost and a one physical boost so it's a bit of an upgrade I wouldn't say it's massive but again he'll be used in cheap squads next player is Lamar he's gone to an 80 rated and he was a right but now he's a left mid he's had a free pace boost a two dribbling boost um, a free shooting boost and a one passing boost that is it for him but definitely one that will be used in a lot of squads. Next is Rabiot. He's went to a gold rare now for PSG. And he is a 70s club player. He's an 80 rated. And he's had a plus 8 pace. A plus 2 dribbling or 3, whatever. 1 shooting. 2 defending. 2 passing. And 1 physical. So a big upgrade for him. Another 70s club player, Taliso. He's had a plus 2. He's had a two pace upgrade, a two dribbling upgrade, a one shooting upgrade, one defending upgrade, two passing upgrade, two physical upgrade. So again, a big upgrade for him. He was 70s club already, but even more well-rounded now. Now for the third 70s club player, San Son. He's gone to an 80 rated. He has 77 pace, 82 dribbling, 75. Sorry, I'm saying all the stats, oops. He's had a four pace upgrade, six dribbling upgrade, four shooting upgrade, five defending upgrade, four passing, and then I missed the other. Next is Tovan. He's went from a 77 to an 81. He's had a plus two dribbling, plus five shooting, plus three defending, plus four passing, I think it is. No, three, sorry. And plus two physical. So, a pretty good card for him. 
Next is a silver to a 75 rated gold rare. Sorbonne, he's had a plus three pace, um, plus two defending, plus one passing, and that's it for him. But I'm sure that silver was probably worth something because of all the league um, squad builder to get Lacazette. But he's probably gone even up even more, that silver. Next is another silver that's probably worth something. Malcolm, he's gone to a right mid from a CAM to a 76, and he's had um, plus five shooting, four passing, and three physical. So a pretty good card. It's just a cheap one for next FIFA, I guess. But not too bad. Next player is Lafont. He's, I think he was worth something. He's gone to a 77 now, so a plus three. He's had a plus three diving, plus four, no, three, sorry, three, sorry, I forget the numbers wrong, plus three reflexes, plus three handling, uh, two kicking, and I missed the other again. I'll have to slow it down a bit. Next is Dalbert. He's a 77 now. He's at a plus two pace, plus three drib no four dribbling five sorry, um, four defending, two passing, and three physical. So almost 70s club for Dalbert. Pretty good card, fast. Next is Bekayako. He's went to a four upgrade to a 78 rated gold rare. He's had two pace boost. 8 dribbling boost, 2 shooting boost, 3 defending boost, and 3 passing boost, and 3 physical boost. Or 2, I don't know. Next is Sala. Sorry, I'm rushing this, guys. That's why it's not a great video. Plus 2 overall. He's had 7 pace boost, 1 defending boost, and 4 physical boost. So... A minor upgrade for him, he's a gold now, so it's not too bad, but really he'll be just worth discard value. Next is Blin, he's went to a 75, so a 2 upgrade, with 1 pace, 5 dribbling, 1 shooting, 2 defending, 1 passing, and 1 physical, so not too bad for him. Again, a gold rare. Missed, surprisingly not a plain gold, but he must be doing well for them in real life. Next is another player for that team, Julian. He's went. He's had a free upgrade to a 76 gold rare. He's had plus one dribbling, plus two defending, and plus three physical. Sorry if I'm getting some of these numbers correct, like plus three or stuff like that. I'm rushing the video. I just want to get it out quickly. Sorry. Next is Rolando. He's had a plus three to a 76, and he's had... Eight, phys eight pace upgrade, he's had mm, plus five defending and plus two physical, but that is it for him. It's an all right card, I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it's just, it'll be worth discard value basically. Next player is Cyfrin, he's gone up seven though. He's had a two pace upgrade, five dribbling boost, for 10, 13 shooting boost, wow, um, 11 defending boost, what is it, 12 passing boost, and 11 physical boost, that was a big upgrade. Next is some players, Siri, Michael Siri has gone to an 80 rated, Tavares has gone to an 80, Belhanda has gone to an 80, Sadibi has gone to an 80, Plea has gone to a 79, um, William Van Cure has gone to a 79, Cardinal has gone to a 77, Lucas Dowks has gone to a 76, Ninga has gone to a 74, Rayner has gone to a 76, Walter has gone to a 74, Johnson has gone to a 74, Varda has gone to a 73, Steve Mooney has gone to a 72, Boshilla Boshilia has gone to a 73. Sorry if I am pronouncing the names wrong. I'm sure there's loads that I'm pronouncing wrong. But sorry. And then the next couple are Mamanus to a 73. Tusa to a 73. Laborde to a 72. Maxim Lopez to a 74. 
um, Anguissi to a 7, ha- now downgrades, Pastore to an 84, Ben Arthur to an 83, Kirchi White to an 82, Tulalan to an 80, Geoffrey Jordan to a 75, Salin to a 74, Mavericks to a 74, Hubokan to a 74, Vizcarondo to a 74, and Bisavak to a 74. But yeah, um, Pastore is an interesting one. Ben Arthur and Kirchi White definitely needed to get downgrade. Uh, to Lalan, yeah, that was fine. It's a shame that Pastore got one, but he, he probably needed to get one. I think he was a bit overrated. And Ben Arthur, it's a shame. He, has, he hasn't played, has he? But yeah, that's an interesting one. Anyway, guys, please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to go check out my past two January upgrades, well, winter upgrades. Yeah, go check them out. And please like, subscribe. We are on 100 subscribers now. Thank you so much for that. I'm going to make a video on it. I'm just not sure what to do yet. So maybe comment what you think I should do. Thanks for watching and goodbye.